All right, I'm going to try to explain uh, app pinning uh, for this one, and it's going to take a while, so I'm going to try to do it slowly so you can all understand. But basically, why would you want to use app pinning? Uh, let me give you a scenario. Let's say I, I, I'm on a uh, distribution, um, you know, Maverick right now, 10.10, uh, .10, and I want to use a package from Lucid or Karmic now how would I do that? Now most of you guys would say, oh get the devs or whatever um, you know that's maybe good for like one program but uh, let's say you want to do like you know more than that or whatever uh, you can actually do that using their old repositories that they have that is still working okay now you can do this like you know vice versa or mix and match whatever like let's say if you're on uh, Karmic and you want to get Lucid packages or uh, Maverick packages you can actually do that uh, or if you're on like you know Ubuntu 10.10, .10, I mean 10.04 Lucid, uh, you can actually get Maverick uh, packages or um, Karmic packages. Okay, so you can actually mix and match. The problem when you do this is that um, you might have a lot of problems with dependencies and uh, you know, or it doesn't work or um, crashes or you know it's not stable for your system. Okay, so that's um, one thing that you have to look out for. But this is actually very popular on uh, Debian. You know, they have stable testing and SID. And stable usually never gets updated. So the, the people there that are using stable, they usually uh, only get the packages that they want uh, from testing or SID if they need to. Uh, but they still have, you know, the stability of uh, stable. Okay. Uh, so some people do that. Or vice versa, they, do, they use SID and they want to get uh, or like you know SID is like they don't the package is not like stable and they use the one in uh, in testing or stable then it'll, it'll, you know they'll still get their system working but uh, it's older packages so something like that but we're gonna do this on Ubuntu because I have a problem here so my problem is okay let me show you so if I try to what the hell is that Okay, to install, right? sudo apt-get install enna, the media center, on my Maverick system. It's gonna give me this bullcrap uh, about dependencies, or these packages doesn't even exist on Maverick, but some idiot put this uh, package in here anyways. When you know it doesn't work, so I know this package worked uh, back then uh, when I was in uh, Karmic. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull the packages from Karmic and make it work on my Maverick system okay so that's two distributions back okay I'm gonna still use those package uh, so to do this we're gonna first we gotta do is um, the hell is that I open the source list I can find it there you go okay so you go sudo gedit uh, blah 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 source list and what this will do is um, you have your source list here now what you want to do is add the karmic package um, the repositories uh, usually people just copy the original maverick or whatever system you're on and all you gotta do is just change you know the maverick to lucid or karmic whatever you want to do but I don't want to do that right now I'm just gonna generate the list okay so I'm gonna use this uh, place here okay so Ubuntu source list generator just pick your state and uh, the, the distribution uh, version that you're using okay so or I mean the distribution version that you want to uh, you know generate it for is uh, Karmic okay and basically check out the boxes that you need for um, you know the main restriction I mean restricted universe whatever so I check those things and I check the security and the updates and go down wait a second here you go Karmic. <clears throat> go down and then generate the list here, right? And basically, just copy this one, and then I just um, paste it down here in the bottom, right there. Paste this right here in the bottom here, right? And for Enna, uh, I just got it from their website because that was the last known version that they have on their website here. Uh, so here you go. This is their uh, repositories, right? The Karmic main here. So that was their last version that they had. So I want to pull that package from there uh, while using Maverick, 
which is what I'm using right now. So um, we have those things in there. All you do is save now and get out of that. Next thing you need to do um, is that, let me clear this. What the hell is the next thing? Oh yeah, this step is um, well. I'll try to I'll explain this also. Okay, basically sudo gedit um, uh, the cache here. Okay, I'll post this on the description, but. This thing is uh, maybe not really necessary for our step, but I'm gonna I'm explain it anyways. So this is to set your uh, cache limit, um, like you know the packages that you uh, you download. There's actually a limit that you can do, um, and usually if you're doing like uh, from, uh, let's say you're on Debian testing and you want to go to SID, you actually have to set up a uh, cache limit. Usually they go like. Um, 100 megs or maybe like uh, 200 or something but for this instance I'm just gonna do 125 or whatever and you see six zeros and then this is how many megabyte you have here okay so 125 is how many megs I'm, use, um, I'm setting the limit to so that's what you gotta do there uh, you can read up more on that if you wanna go into detail but that's what I'm gonna do okay uh, the next thing what the hell is that command? Uh, okay, here we go. Preference. Now, this one uh, is you actually set your priority, like which one is higher than the other, or which one has the more, uh, you know, more power than the other one. So we're only gonna use uh, two dish uh, or two uh, releases. Okay, so Maverick and Karmic. Okay. So all you gotta do is just type this one in or paste this one in. But basically you have these um star here. This means it'll use all the packages or you can pull any package uh that you want. You can actually just uh tell so like you know to use one package if you want to type it in like N only. But for our instance we're gonna use the all of it, okay. And um the priority numbers here, like eight hundred and six hundred. Basically you can use whatever numbers you want, but the one that's higher is the one that has more power. So if I'm doing like a pseudo app get update or something, it's gonna pull from Maverick, okay? Because the Maverick has more uh, power over Karmic here, okay? That's why you want to set uh, whatever distribution or whatever version you're on. Let's say if you're on Maverick, you want that one to be the highest number, um, and it, all the other ones will be lower than that, okay? That's all you gotta do in here, and we're gonna save this sucker next thing you want to do is actually set the default um, the hell is that command there you go so sudo gedit uh, blah 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 app dot conf here and in here you want to set the default release so whatever you know version you're using uh, set that as your default okay so I'm using Maverick so I want that as the default and this will tell it that uh, you know all the updates or whatever I'm doing is Maverick or whatever I'm installing is Maverick okay um, that's it or if you're on Lucid you say Lucid okay all you do is change this to whatever name uh, you know that Mark should or think of uh, so that's it for that part uh, and then the next step is just to um, uh, do an update so I'm gonna do uh, sudo App get update. And um, should be updating in a minute. Alright, so we updated all of it. Now notice if I do um what is that sudo app get what the hell is that? Install Enna. Now, if I still do this, since our our default is Maverick, which we already set, it's still gonna pull from Maverick. That's why it doesn't work. But if we use like, uh, well, they have different ones. But let me tell you here. So if you do something like this, like Enna uh, slash, uh, and then you go Karmic. This one, the slash means. Um, I don't really recommend the slash, but I'm gonna try to explain what it means anyways. The slash means that it's gonna try to install Enna from uh, uh, you know a Karmic, 
but it's going to try to resolve their the dependencies uh, using Maverick. So it's trying to you know mix and match the two uh, versions, Karmic and Maverick, uh, which doesn't always work out very well. But I'm going to run it so you guys can see what is happening. Right? It doesn't really work that well here. Uh, the other way uh, is actually the recommended way is that we're going to use the same thing but we're not going to use the slash, we're going to use the dash T. I forgot what the T means but I know it's release and then uh, we type in the release here okay uh, so T means I think uh, something release I forgot but dash T okay and you do this it's a little bit better but it still has dependencies problems um, right here what is this here dependencies the lib player whatever it's not going to be installed uh, broken package um, what what this is the problem is that apt-get is not really good at handling this so whenever you're doing this I actually recommend using aptitude um, and aptitude still uses the same stuff so let me give you an example um, what is this here if we use aptitude okay install and uh, blah 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 dash t and then karmic alright so you see that it says it's gonna be um, up here it says it doesn't say that you know it's not gonna be installed or whatever it says new package uh, will be installed uh, there is dependencies issues but uh, we can actually resolve it using uh, aptitude here so our options here it says um, do you want to accept this solution so it says it's not going to be installed not going to be installed so that's not a fucking solution so we're going to put no okay now this one is it's going to try to resolve it using uh, maverick here okay packages that it needs to to resolve the dependencies uh and we say yeah okay i'll try to, the maverick one if, to see if it works okay so i'm going to accept uh this uh solution and i put yes uh, sometimes you don't really want to use Maverick, you want to use the, the Karmic one, but this one I know it works anyways, so I'm going to put yes. And now it's going to sell us uh, um, the following package is going to be installed. So I'm going to install Enna, uh, the media center here, right? I'm going to install it. So yes, we are done here. And now um, it's going to ask us like, uh, you know, security or unt untrusted packages or whatever. Um, I know it's safe so I'm gonna do it yes type in yes that's it and now it's just gonna download it and it's gonna install it using karmic you see karmic right there that's what it's gonna use so we we'll just wait and uh, we'll see if uh, uh, Enna, the media center is gonna be installed and let's see if it works Alright, so it downloads all the dev files already. Now it's just uh, installing it, basically. And there you go, that's it. Now uh, we can actually open uh, Enna, the media center. So let's see here. There you go, Enna, the media center. And it works, see? using the Karmic, uh, you know, packages. Uh, on our Maverick system uh, so there you go that's how you would do that it's a bit long but um, you know read up on it if you want to learn more but uh, that's how you would do this and what the hell is my other one alright so that's